we're going to use an unseasoned frozen fish, an entire head of bok choy, and six to eight tablespoons of butter and other seasoning as we go along you would see. So I am putting the six to eight tablespoons of butter and the entire bok choy into the slow cooker and then the frozen fish. If you prefer, you can pre-season the fish and if you have it frozen, you can put it. But this was not pre-seasoned. So I just used the frozen fish and those ingredients. And then I'm going to add some extra seasoning. But before we get there, a quick reminder. Click the bell for new videos. All of the seasoning that you're seeing there with about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half, and clove is very strong, so control how much of the cloves you add. I added some extra tablespoon of butter to the surface of the fish when I'm finished adding the extra seasoning. You notice I didn't add any salt in this. I didn't add any salt in this because the complete seasoning is perfectly salted. Now I'm going to add the rubber across it, but before we continue, let me remind you. The rubber is basically just to hold it down in place and to keep the steam in. It's not mandatory that you must put it in. So 30 minutes in, I was just checking it. I'm not going to add any water because bok choy is, is, is a water plant and the fish was frozen. So I'm going to turn the fish around and again it was already seasoned with the seasoning that in there so we're not going to add any extra seasoning to this because again i'm controlling my sodium intake so i am very cautious of how much salt but as i said if you pre-season this again control the amount of the complete seasoning that you're adding so basically i cook this for a total hour an hour flat so this is 30 minutes after the first 30 minutes this is the second part of it so i am now going to check the fish again and show you that it is thoroughly cooked and full of flavor and the bok choy also had a lot of flavor because of the simple ingredients that we used a tablespoon and a half i actually use of the complete seasoning a tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper and just a handful of clove. You can add salt if you want, but I choose wasn't to add any extra salt because of the complete seasoning. I have just enough of everything for me, and I'm trying to control my sodium intake. So I did not add any salt into this recipe. And I had this with rice, and well, the bok choy, the bok choy was there. So this was a very enjoyable mm -hmm. recipe. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.